Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are starting with these goldfish that I did 3D print on my resin printer. I will leave a link in the info box below and in the iCard for the uh, 3D print file I found for these small goldfish. If you don't have a 3D resin printer then I have a video on a goldfish that I just made here. Uh, a few weeks ago, so um, I will link for that also in the info box below. I mixed up a nice orangey color in my uh, favorite paint here, and then I am just going to color in all of these goldfish one by one, still sitting on the support, because this way it's easier to paint them and not get paint all over your fingers. When they all have been painted and they are all dry, I am using a flash cutter here to cut them loose of the support and I'm just taking my time so that I don't break anything at all. Now for the fun part, I'm taking a small bag here and I'm cutting off the tip of the corner just to release air. Then I am taking a piece of rest clay and I am going to pop that into this little plastic bag. I took off the um, top part of it to make it easier to get it in. I want the shape of the plastic bag when it's uh, really full. So I am really, really squeezing this um, clay down into the bottom and into the corners. And I'm taking my time with this. It took a really, really long time to get it into the corners of the little bag, so I skipped a lot of this, um, but just squeeze it really good down in there. And that's why I cut the corners of it to release the air. And now I'm just shaping it a tiny bit in the little bag so that it is looking like the bag is really, really nice and full. When you are happy with the result, then please leave it on your work desk for 5-10 minutes to harden a tiny bit again. And when that has happened, I use a small scissor to cut open the plastic bag and take the plastic bag away because you don't want to bake the clay with the plastic around it. So remove all the plastic first and then go bake it. I am not telling you here how uh, many degrees you are going to put your oven on and that is fully on purpose because some clays have a higher temperature than other clays so look at the packing for your clay and I am always setting mine 5 degrees lower than it actually has to go. This way I am avoiding burning my clay. I have these thermoplastic uh, strips here that I found on AliExpress and I'm sure you can find them elsewhere and you just dump them into boiling hot water and they get really really soft so you can mold them and I made a mold of this um, filled plastic bag here and then you just leave it to cool down and then it is really really nice and hard and you can use that with UV resin and I find that really really um, useful. You can also use it with epoxy resin as I am going to do right here. First I am going to use my UV resin on a glass plate and I'm making a bead here along the glass plate and this one turned out way too big for me so I just took a little of the UV resin here and I placed that next to um, this bead so I made these smaller beads here and that's what I'm going to use so the big one is um, not working but these small ones here are just perfect. Um, use your UV light and harden them really good before you continue. Now the thermoplast have hardened and cooled down so I can take out this little um, piece here that we made and believe you me that was really really difficult to get out of there but I did get it out. 
Then I took one of these smaller pieces here and I am taking one of my goldfish, dabbing the little piece in UV resin, placing it on the bottom of my goldfish and then hitting it with my UV torch, making sure that this little piece is sitting really really good under my fish. So the little resin strip is kind of sticking out underneath the goldfish like you see here, hopefully. And I am going to place it in the middle of my uh, mold here, make sure it is going to be all covered by resin when you're done. Dabbing it into a tiny bit of UV resin here and making sure that it is sitting like I want it here in the bottom of the mold. And again, just hitting it with my UV light. Make sure it is sticking. It doesn't have to stick really well, just be standing there on its own. I mixed some epoxy resin for this part, um, but you could use the UV resin instead. My UV resin is uh, going a tiny bit yellowish if it is too much in the sun where my epoxy is staying clear so I am using my epoxy resin for this one so I'm just filling up this mold very very slowly so that I avoid too many air bubbles then I leave it for around 12 to 24 hours to harden I let mine harden the night over and now it's time to get it out of the mold and just with the original this is really really hard to get out uh, so I struggled a lot but it uh, actually um, came out very nice when I finally got it out. I am taking a plastic bag here and cutting off this part on the top here making sure I have the right width for this little piece here and then I am going to cut off the excess of the little bag here actually I'm just gonna clamp it first around where it needs to go and then cut off the excess then I turned on a tiny tea candle here and I'm just going to uh, heat up the edge here where I cut and this way I have a fused edge in this little plastic bag so I can pop this one in and leave it in the little plastic bag. I did mix a little more of my epoxy resin and I dripped a few drops into the bags. Please don't do that. That was uh, the stupid way to do it. Uh, it's better just to dip the little thing in resin or make sure you have a resin coat around it before you pop it in the bag. This can go really, really messy and I really should have had my gloves on here. But I was so deep into recording this that I totally forgot my gloves. But if you do this, please, please, please do wear gloves because resin is um, a toxic. So you don't want that on your hands. And if you do, go wash them really, really uh, good. Make sure you got everything off your hands again and do it really fast. Um, okay. Back to the video. I am making sure that I have resin all around the bottom of this little um, piece with my goldfish in. Then I am opening up my bag and sliding this piece down into the bottom of the bag. Making sure that my bag is all cleaned and then I'm just sliding it down um, and I am pulling it together around the top here. Let me put that away. So I am taking a piece of a sewing thread here and I'm laying it double and I'm just gonna pop that around the top of the bag like this and make sure that I have a really nice knot on there, maybe wrap it around a few times more and then another um, knot. And I'm just gonna leave the strings for now while it is drying and then I'm gonna cut off this top because there is resin in there so it's easier to cut it off now and shape it a tiny bit. I leave it to dry for 12 or 24 hours before I cut the strings here into a length that I like and that's all there is for this little craft, a goldfish in a plastic bag with water ready for the aquarium. So that's it for today, thank you for watching and happy crafting!